Hey guys, Jeff here from Pelham's Aquatics. I was debating real hard on whether I should make this video or not, um, but I decided I would because I feel that um, everyone who watches my channel, uh, there's not a, not a whole lot, but um, those of you who do, I really, really do appreciate you very, very much. And uh, I wanted to explain, I had uh, put up a video on a aquarium tour that I had intended on it being premiered as an upload just at a certain specific time, but um, it premiered as a live. I just didn't know what I was doing, and uh, I am quite embarrassed by it. But everybody makes mistakes, and, uh, and that was one of mine. I'm sure I'll make more. But I just wanted to apologize to everybody uh, about that. And I haven't had a tank tour out in such a long time. So uh, I'm just doing a quick uh, run through here. I'm going to do a voiceover on this video that I'm going to show you because um, I have uh, some smoke detectors upstairs that are on a 25 to 30 foot cathedral ceiling. And um, I'm not good on ladders, and I need to hire someone to get uh, an electrician to get those moved down so I can uh, manage the uh, the battery backup system better. And I had received some uh, quite nasty um, comments on my channel that um, I had deleted because I do not believe that, you know, if you want to go watch a channel about fish, you don't just take your time and pick out the tiniest little imperfections about the surroundings. I mean, you can see here, I've also had people complain about the fact that my fish room is in an unfinished basement. You know, I just can't uh, tolerate any negativity in my life because I try to conduct myself in a positive manner. And uh, I think it's only fair to you guys that I explain all that. So, Enough of me uh, droning on about a bunch of crap that's kind of meaningless. Um, we'll go ahead and get on with this uh, walkthrough of my uh, aquariums. Uh, you'll notice some of them aren't in the uh, greatest of shape. Some are better than others right now. It's all a work in progress. It's all a journey, no destination here. I got things coming and going all the time. I do run a small business um, on Get Gills where I sell a lot of the fish that I breed and uh, raise up and snails and pretty much anything else that I uh, I breed in the uh, in the house so um, I'll leave a link in the description for that if you're interested it's a good way to support my channel I mean everything I have here I it's out of my own pocket and as we all know the aquarium uh, hobby isn't exactly the least expensive hobby to have so in case you may be interested. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get on with this uh, tour and I'll shut up now and uh, I'll roll some music and I'll do a little bit of commentary voiceover. But other than that, um, you've heard enough of me <laughs> for one day. So um, anyhow, thanks for being tolerant of me and uh, I hope you uh, find some enjoyment. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. And this is what I refer to as the tank of love. It uh, has some very old uh, pink gravel in it from when back when me and my wife met. Uh, we had a, a little baby red devil, and it made the uh, fish appear to be more of a salmon color, which is one of my wife's favorite colors. It has different, uh, we have lemon blue eye plecos, um, calicos, the black mollies, of course. It's a fun tank. We'll head into the office to the 29 gallon tank. Um, this one has a couple of my fire mouths that, uh, from my spawn. Uh, lots of albino bristle nose uh, growing out. And of course, all the uh, larger black mollies that are breeding. Lots of java moss growing real well in here. And uh, yeah, it's going pretty well in this tank.
And we got more albino bristle nose on the way, as if we didn't have enough already. I really like this tank. It's a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy it too. This is uh, one of my 40 gallon breeder tanks. And here's the uh, old girl from the, I had an ancient pair of convicts and uh, this is their daughter here. And uh, living in this tank with the uh, firemouth pair. There's the mother firemouth, there's the dad back there, just a stunning example. Uh, they're doing quite well. The male's getting a little rough with her, he wants to breed again, but they still have this uh, first batch of fry in there. So I'm going to be trying to uh, get them moved to a different tank so they can get back to business. You may recognize that fish from my avatar picture on uh, YouTube. That uh, is one of my Vieja Argentes, and this uh, skittle gravel is uh, almost as old as I am. I'll replace it someday, but it serves its purpose right now. I'm not into the colored gravel, but mind you, I just uh, I use what I have and. Uh, yeah, so I'm using it. And we're over here to the uh, first 10 gallon tank. Uh, the tank before the last one of the upstairs part of the tour. This has just got my, uh, a bunch of black mollies that have bred in here. I'm just growing them out in this 10 gallon tank along with all this java moss. There's lots of ram's horn snails. I have uh, orange uh, Sulawesi rabbit snails in here that hit breed also, and there's a few babies in there, but they're under the java moss. And uh, yeah, it's going pretty well in this tank. And here's the shell dweller tank, the Neolamprologus multifaciatus. I, it might not look like it, but I've done quite a bit of work in this tank. I removed all the uh, hornwort that was almost completely choking this tank completely out. Uh, still has a lot of the uh, java moss in there, which is kind of nice. I'm going to thin that out a little more too. But yeah, I got uh, lots of little babies in here of the multifaciatus. I started out with four about a year ago. And now I got probably close to 15 or 20 in this tank, not to mention all the uh, black mollies. So it's going pretty well, and I also apparently have some uh, breeding assassin snails in here too. Welcome to the dragon blood tank. You can see uh, got a holding female there. There's about three or four holding females right now. And um, I haven't pulled any females in a long time. Uh, and uh, I would have literally hundreds of these dragon bloods right now, but I just don't have the tank space at the moment. Um, and, uh, but they are beautiful. I mean, I don't call him Casanova for nothing. I tell you, he's got his way with the ladies. Isn't he beautiful? 
gorgeous fish. Now we'll head over to Casanova Sun's aquarium and see uh, this little guy growing out. It's going to be a spitting image of his daddy. And you can see also I have lots of other uh, dragon bloods in this tank and then a whole mess of the red zebras. I really like them, but uh, I tell you, they are one of the hardest fish to move uh, sail wise. Just people don't want aggressive fish. They're beautiful, but they're not that bad. I mean, you put them in a good, good sized group and yeah. But anyhow, moving on to the next tank, uh, be another set of, uh, well, actually it's Sunny's tank. I got uh, my sunfish in there. I've had him for about four years now. I got him from a friend. We, uh, we netted him out of his pond. And there's a nice piece of that dragon stone that I got with that great deal from the uh, project I did. And here I have more uh, red zebras. I got some holding females in there also. I have a baby that actually made it from the last time that one of the uh, females released her uh, babies. I just can't uh, keep raising them up because I would have to have 100 aquariums down here. <laughs> right now I'm at, I think, 27 tanks all together. And some of you know, of course, a lot of them are, have to be set up, but uh, the Ambunas and the uh, Dragon Blood production is coming to an official end. Uh, I'm going to try I'm trying to move these guys on so I can get some other breeding projects started. I love them, but I've had my time with them. And in this tank, I have uh, more mystery snails. I also have a scud population in here that I um, am using to feed my apistos. What I do is I take out this java moss and I put it in the apisto tank and then I replace it with uh, java moss from their tank and they re-infest uh, it and I just keep rotating it in and out as needed. Kind of an interesting little project. And these little guys are kind of fun to watch too. And I have some actually some really top-notch ram's horn snails also. I don't have them available in my uh, Get Gill store yet, but I'm developing a uh, purplish strain of them. Uh, I know blues are common and pink, but I got uh, some lavender ones that I'm working on that um, if I can get them to uh, produce true, I'll, I'm going to do that. So I think they're kind of nice. And I got something new over here. Got a, added a piece of chola wood. Um, I got chola wood in other tanks, but I just added one to the shrimp tank, and they really love it. Uh, as soon as I added it in there, uh, they were on it immediately, and they were just swarming with uh, shrimp and snails. They all seemed to like it. I guess it was a good thing to add. And here's the last Mbuna tank. Um, this is the last group that I pulled, and I'm hoping to move them along as soon as possible. And 
this is the most recent tank that I set up. Uh, this is the one I set up when I did my Hyger review of this heater here. I lowered the temperature down to 77 degrees. Um, I'm using this as a hospital tank. I have a, a convict cichlid in here that got uh, tore up pretty well, and uh, he's doing good now. He's going to heal up fine. They're very resilient. He's eating. He's healing up. He'll be back to A1 shape in another month or two. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to designate this tank as my hospital tank. That way, if fish gets battered or if it's ill, I can bring it in here, treat it, and uh, then move it back to its original home. So we're on the final stretch now, guys. Thank you so much for hanging with me for this. There's this tank and one more tank, and then the tour will be over with. I just wanted to show you this... Uh, straight mystery snail here i really like it i'm going to try and replicate it everything's doing great in these tanks the plants the uh, fish the snails but i wanted to thank you guys so very much and i hope you enjoy the rest of the video and i hope everyone has a fantastic weekend thanks guys and i'll see you real soon and this is jeff from pelham's aquatics have a great weekend bye bye